this fuse makes you wonder, what is really in those drinks anyway? KSI and Logan Paul have tagged this drink as a healthier alternative to typical energy drinks due to the absence of caffeine and the presence of relatively fewer calories. So, rather than being one of those energy drinks that overly stimulate a person and have tons of side effects, they brag that prime drinks have a hydration effect, along with helping you stay focused on your goals. Each 500 milliliter bottle consists of filtered water and about 10% coconut water, which is a natural source of electrolytes that promote heart, skeletal, and muscle health. Each bottle also has two grams of sugar, which is barely 10% of an adult's recommended intake, and other alternatives for sweeteners are used. Examples are sucralose and acesulfame K, which are low calorie compounds. These hydrating drinks are available in about eight variants, which are blue raspberry, grape, ice pop, lemon lime, meta moon, orange, strawberry watermelon, and tropical punch. From the list of ingredients used to produce the drinks, doctors and nutritionists believe that while the products are indeed as healthy as they claim, they offer no real nutritional value. So they are literally bottles of sweetened water, which are way more expensive and stressful to get. However, this revelation hasn't done anything to reduce the demand the Prime Hydration Company is faced with on a daily basis. Some marketers have a theory that the low supply is a marketing tactic, which seems to be working tremendously great in the company's favor. The logic behind this tactic is that when you limit the supply, demand increases exponentially, which seems to be what is going on here. I mean, think about it. When you hear that there's a limited amount of a particular product, you get the urge to buy before it sells out. Furthermore, when there's so much hype about a particular product, the buzz tends to attract more people because no one wants to be left out of a cool trend. And for these reasons, some people think that the gap between supply and demand of the prime drinks was a well-planned publicity stunt. However, the level of effectiveness may have been a surprise. In response to this, KSI and Logan have claimed that the narrative is completely false. On several occasions, KSI said that although he and his partner are indeed marketing geniuses, they really didn't see themselves having the kind of response that they did. According to him, the company is working tirelessly to meet up with what seems like an increasingly large demand. To help with this, the drinks are now available in more stores across the UK. However, it's still more easily accessible in the US than in the home country of the owners.